Hello, welcome to another video. This video is going to look into the issue that you get with Linux, um, in this case Ubuntu, where you get the dev slash SDA followed by a number and then clean with the number of files and then blocks. So we're going to have a look at how to resolve this and this is going to be my first option. And what I'll do is firstly just show you the storyboard to get to this. So we start up the system, we let Ubuntu load, select Ubuntu, now it's starting to load. This is a mechanical hard drive, so if you've got an SSD drive, you'll notice it'll be a lot faster. Okay, and now we're greeted with the error, as you can see. So we're gonna look into the first option. In this case, this is the issue. So we're going to actually go into the system using, using the USB installer. So you need Ubuntu loaded onto a USB flash drive, ideally at least eight gigabytes, potentially 16 if you can. In this case, the actual memory is out. So the full memory has been used and it cannot now load. So we click try Ubuntu and this will allow us to make some changes. Now you don't want to use this in the live system. This is why we're using it from a USB installer because it could corrupt the actual system. What we need to do is increase the size of the drive, the home directory where everything is being stored and that should allow us to boot normally. So basically in my case, it's out of memory space. Now in this case, you can see dev SDA4 is the main Linux system, so 98 gigabytes. Just underneath, we've got the home directory where everything is, is stored, essentially. So all the videos, pictures, documents, that's all in SDA5. And then we've got the swap partition uh, in SDA6, which is eight gigabytes. So as you can see, the 90 and the eight add up to the 98 gigabytes which represents SDA4. So we need to increase SDA5, which is where everything is stored and we're having a problem. Now you can see on the system that I've got SDA2, which is the NTFS, that's the actual Windows system. Now this is a dual boot system that is currently taking up the whole part of the disk, which is just under a terabyte at 931 gigabytes. I don't need all of that space in Windows. So what we'll do is resize the Windows partition and reduce that. That will allow us space to increase the Ubuntu partition. Just the size as you see fit. You can use the slider above if you want to. So after you've selected the new size, if you just click anywhere around the screen, it will tell you the free space. So that will now create 500 gigabytes. So before that instruction is carried out, it will just leave that command on hold until you finalize everything. Now with the SDA4, we want to increase that with the remaining space in my case. So you can just put zero in the remaining space and it will just use all of the free space. We've now got two instructions. One is to reduce the Windows partition and one to increase the Linux partition. Once I'm ready, you click the green tick and apply and it will run those two operations and confirm to you once it's done. Okay, so that's all completed now, so we can close that. And now we've got some unallocated space here, which is free. Now if we come out of this, I'm just gonna restart the system now and just show you what happens. So we'll power off and then come back into the system. You'll need to take the USB drive out at this point, but it will remind you in case you leave it. So the USB drive has allowed us to make changes to the system so we're not doing it live whilst we're actually in the operating system. We're doing it from the USB installer. 
will allow Ubuntu to load and we should in a moment see the error again and I'll explain to you why in a second. Here we go. So here's the error again. So we've not actually resolved it. So what we actually need to do is actually we've created the space but we've not actually allocated it to the Linux partition. So we need to do that. So pop your USB installer back into the system and now we can see the unallocated space. So we need to add this onto the Linux system. As you can see, it's got a key beside it. Go into create new partition. Leave it as logical partition, ext4, and click add. Now this has made it a format that is compatible with Linux. So we can click the green tick to apply that change and this shouldn't take too long. Okay, we can close out of that as it's now complete. Now what we've done here is this is in the process of using that free space. So we created the free space of, and the Linux system was currently at 90 gigabytes, which it had run out of space. So in my case, I've created the free space I formatted it to the ext4 and now I'm increasing the existing Linux partition from 90 up to 578 so it's more than sufficient for the size. That's now completed so we can close that out and as you can see here now the SDA4 has increased in size and it's a total of 586 now with the SDA500 increased and the swap stays as normal at eight gigabytes. We've got a small amount of unallocated space, but that's fine. Come out of this now. Everything should now be done. So we're gonna restart the machine, remembering to take the USB installer out before it restarts. Okay, we go on the grub menu, click Ubuntu. So we should see the Ubuntu loading screen in a moment. There we are. Now, this is the moment of truth. This is the point at which we were getting the error that we did previously. Excellent. So here we are. That's now just confirmed it's allowed us into the system. So it did work. So in my case, it was a, a matter of the storage being used up fully. We had to increase the storage um, within the, the drive or the partition at least. And then that has allowed us to get back into the system. Thank you for watching, hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, then post them below.